Faith comes by hearing, and hearing the Word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day, presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. It is very easy to conform to the world. In fact, it is the natural thing to do. That is why you hear people say, but everyone is doing it. Some people would rather choose to face a firing squad than dare to be different in their speech, dress, eating, drinking, and so on. The pressure to conform is everywhere and not just limited to teenagers. In other words, peer pressure is for every age and everyone and every day. In your family, community, association, and place of work, there is the pressure to conform to the low and sinful standards of the world. Maybe in your office, somebody is saying, this money that is brought for the community, let's share it. You know, it doesn't belong to us, but that's how it's done. That's how it goes. That is a pressure to conform to the low sinful standards of the world and be transmogrified into the selfish image of Satan. To be transformed to become like Satan in character. But God has called his children out of the world and bidding them not to conform or be similar to the world or be like the world. This is a high and holy calling and God is depending on you. Because his ways are different from that of the world and his standards are higher than that of the world, he wants you to decide to live according to his high and holy standards. Some are trying to lower the standard of God to please human passion and accommodate worldly practices, even in the church. But God's word for you today is be not conformed, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. How do you renew your mind for transformation? It is by treasuring the word of God in your heart. Quote, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Unquote. Psalm 119 verse 11. I urge you to prayerfully meditate on the word of God every day. Yes, every day. And the Spirit of God will renew your heart, your mind, so that you will not conform to the spirit of this world, but be transformed into the divine image. God wants you to have the power. He will release the power if you pray and open your heart to Him this moment. Pray to God. Open your heart and he will give you the power not to conform, but to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. May God bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. Amen.